Hey everyone, welcome back to Wildcat MTG. Back again today with another collector booster box opening of Innistrad Midnight Hunt. Um, if you happen to have checked out the first one of these that I did, then you know that it did not go particularly well for me. Uh, if you didn't see it and you're interested in seeing something get completely wrecked on a collector booster box opening, then feel free to check it out. But otherwise, hopefully we fare a little bit better today. And uh, with that being said, uh, let's open some packs, huh? So, uh, yeah, uh, didn't do well in the first one back again because I'm possibly a glutton for punishment but honestly I'm just optimistic that we opened something really spicy today and uh, you know with this particular set um, I was a little bit skeptical originally and, and I haven't done well on my set boosters I've done okay right okay but not great I do like the set um, as far as standard sets are concerned so I'm going to take out Modern Horizons 2 because I think Modern Horizons 2 is just by far the best uh, set currently in print but I really, as far as like standard is concerned, I think this set is, uh, I like it more than Strixhaven. I like it more than Zendikar. Um, I'm at odds with it uh, when it comes to uh, the Dungeons and Dragons set. I know everyone else doesn't like that set, but I do like it. Uh, we're gonna start with an old stick fingers here. We've got a Lind the Cheerful Tormentor as our first mythic, and that's a commander mythic. We've got the Celestis as the uh, uh, extended art card. I like that card, that's kind of cool. And then we get to our flurry of uh, showcase cards here. Hey, we've got a borderless uh, Haunted Ridge or extended Haunted Ridge. I like that. We've got a foil bird admire. Ooh, and a, uh, a foil overgrown farmland, which is pretty cool. Uh, I do like the lands in this set. I think they're they're pretty they're pretty neat. So let's put uh, let's do this. How do we want to do this? Let's do it that way. We've got our bat token. Don't care about that. I do like the set. Um, I think it's. Uh, I put it, I think Call Time is far and away, both value and power level wise, the best set currently out there. Um, but I sort of put this and, and the D&D &D set uh, in pretty pro close proximity. Maybe this set has the edge a little bit. Hey, we got another land here. We got the Deserted Beach yet again. We'll take that. It's a foil rare. And we've got a commander card. This is the Beastmaster. We'll put the commander cards there. Extended Art uh, Briarbridge Tracker up there. And again, we've got our flurry of showcase cards. And then we've got a Slogurk the Overslime. Slogurk the Overlord. All hail Slogurk. Harvest Tide Infiltrator. And a Reckless Storm Seeker, which uh, foil, which flips into the Storm Charge Slasher. Which is a pretty cool card. I, I like that card. So let's see here. What are we doing with our piles? What do we want to do here? Let's go there. Kind of want to track the lands. Put all the other cards here. All right, there we go. Nothing super spicy yet. I like the lands though. Um, I think they're gonna see enough play. I think they already do. Uh, let's see here. We'll skip to, we'll get to our foil land. Wow, all right, so land time, huh? We've got, I don't think I really got any out of the first box, but here we are. We've got another land. We've got the Shipwreck Marsh. We've got our commander card, which we'll throw over here. We've got the Curse of Shake and Bake as our extended card. And we go into Ooh, there's a good one. So there's a nice uh, nice one to the showcase. We've got Tovalar, the Dire Overlord, which flips into the Midnight Scourge. That's a really nice hit right there. And Rejuvenator. Ooh, I opened so many of these. Um, I think I've opened up three Primal Adversaries. Not, not in the extended uh, foil, but uh, we'll definitely take that. I like that. But yeah, I don't think I've opened up more any other adversaries other than, than this one. Uh, where should we put this? We'll put this in the mythic pile right there. All right. That's a nice hit, though. I like the adversary cycle. I don't think there's really any bad adversaries. I, I do think that's probably the weakest of the of the bunch, but uh, maybe that or the blue one. But uh, they're all good. I do like them all. <laughs> well, okay, see? I I've opened up so many of these. That <laughs> the primal adversary, we'll take it. This goes in the mythic pile for sure. Uh, we've got the pack foil version of the primal adversary. We'll take that. We've got our commander card. Got burned down the house in the extended. That's kind of cool. And we hit our more our showcases again. And then we've got a rare Cadilda Cadilda Dawnheart Prime, and a tireless holler, and a right of harmony foil extended, which we'll throw over there. All right, doing okay though. I mean, the fact that we've already I I literally think I, I might have already pulled more mythics in this box than I did in all of last box, and that's really saying something when it comes to collector booster boxes. So, all right. Got a Graveyard Trespasser, the Pack Foil, uh, Visions of Duplicity as our Commander card. Aye, a Hostile Hostile in the Extended Art. That is a Mythic. It is not a great Mythic, but it is nonetheless a Mythic. So let's pull those down here. Hostile Hostile, Tireless Holler, 
Burley Breaker, Graveyard Trespasser, another one of those. This one's in the showcase. And we've got a Shady Traveler foil and a Brutal Cathar foil, uh, foil showcase, and he flips into the uh, Moon Rage Scourge. That's a that's a nice little hit right there, kind of like that. And then we've got a Random Seven token, which is also pretty nice. All right, so let's do that. Let's go there. All right, last last pack of the left side of the box here. Whoa, 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 whoa! All right, spilling cards all over the place. Okay. Foil land. Another Briarbridge tracker. What is up with the duplication? That's crazy. That is absolutely crazy. We've got our commander card. We've got a Willow Geist in the extended. Uh, Candle Grove Witch. That's just more of the uh, showcase. Tavern Ruffian. We've got a Jadar, the Ghoul Caller of Nefalia, as a showcase. Uh, Outland Liberator foil. And a Wake to the Slaughter foil extended. Yeah, it was not that great. Not that great of a pack. Okay, moving right along here. Can we get like Arlen? I don't think I've ever opened, I don't think I've opened up any Arlen's to this point. Uh, so that would be a nice change of pace. Okay, Graph Keeper, we've got our foil land. We've got Denik, Pious Apprentice, and he flips into the uh, Pious Apparition as our pack foil, which is not a bad card. And celebrate the harvest, sludge monster as the extended art. Okay, and we head into the got another land. This is a great box for lands. We've got our uh, another extended art, another overgrown far land there. This has been a huge land box. Ooh, that's a nice hit right there. He's not the most desirable of the planeswalkers, but I will never turn away a borderless foil to fairy. That is a nice hit right there. I like that card quite a bit. It doesn't see a ton of play yet. I think it's been mostly experimental. I've seen it running around on Arena and just a lot of decks where I think a lot of people are just trying it out and trying to make it work. But uh, I'm not sad about that. That's a nice hit right there. Most definitely. Okay, so we've got our foil. Our foil. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, let's freaking go. That's what I'm talking about right there. Meat Hook Massacre foil, pack foil. Beautiful. That is the most expensive card in the set, uh, and uh, just a monster hit. That um, that makes my day right there. That and the Teferi, just monstrous. Smoldering Egg in the extended. This box is this box is great. <laughs> Ta-da! This box is amazing. We've got another extended art land. Uh, the Rock Veil, the Rockfall Veil. Excuse me. All right. Well, this box is this box is looking up. All of a sudden, this box is amazing. Uh, I got another Ren token, and we've got a uh, foil extended uh, Willow Geist. We'll take that. We will take that. Oh man, I'm so happy now. I'm so so happy now. Foil Meat Hook to Fairy. We got ourselves a box, ladies and gents. We have a box. All right. Ooh, Pack Foil Unnatural Growth. That's another super spicy. Uh, Pack foil hit. That's a great rare. That's one of the better, more valuable rares in the set. Storm Festival, Storm the Festival extended art. I do like that card a lot, by the way. Um, all right, Suspicious Stowaway, another card that I'm fond of, and that's in the uh, showcase. That does flip into the uh, Seafaring Werewolf. Okay, Shady Traveler. Ooh, and a, a extended art uh, Sun Gold Sentinel foil. That's a that's a nice hit as well, and it looks really good. I don't know if the camera does it justice, but. Um, that card sees a decent amount of play in, in Mono White. Uh, Mono White is a deck. That is a real deck, so... You know what? There we go. It's like, why aren't these piles matching up? Something's not right here. Okay, there we go. So we got three packs left, and uh, we already have ourselves a Borderless Teferi and a uh, Pack Foil Meat Hook Massacre, so we're not doing bad, plus a, uh, a couple Primal Adversaries. One is, a, is the uh, Extended Art. So this box is already looking up. Man, another land. Insane. Um... Very cool, we'll take that. This has been a huge land box. Grafted Identity is the extended. Then we hit, look at that, another uh, extended art land, non-foil, not sad. Totally take that. And Curse of Leeches as the, uh, which flipped into the Leeching Lurker as the extended art foil. This is a huge, huge box. Like Those lands see anywhere from Five to six dollars in value. Um, this box is going to look great in down in the history books here. Okay, 
So we've got our land. We've got Mask of Bristlebrand as their pack foil there. Crowded Crypt as the commander. And boom! Uh, Extended Art Mythic, Moonvale Regent. This card has cooled off a little bit. This card came out with a lot of like oomph to it, a lot of uh, hype to it. Um, it's cooled off a little bit. It still sees, uh, I think, a, a fair amount of play, uh, but uh, it's a nice mythic. We'll take that. Ooh, all right. So we've got a Sigarda Champion of Light. Uh, this is a foil showcase. Uh, doesn't see like a ton of play yet, but I think a lot of people like the card. All right. Ooh, yeah, there's another great hit right there. We've got a Natural Growth in the Extended Art Foil. That is a wonderful hit right there. That's a really, really nice hit. We'll take that. I think that's just a good card overall. Um, I think it's going to be, <laughs> I don't know, I just, I think it's fun. I think it's the fact that it, it does its thing on, on both players' turns is insane. So, strong card. All right, last pack. Here we go. Ooh, yeah, so there we go. We'll take that. We've got a regular pack foil, Tobolar the Dire Lord. That's a nice, that's a nice hit right there. Got our commander card. We've got an extended art, Galvanic Iteration. Card might be busted. We'll see. We hit our. We've got Ludovic and the uh, showcase. The art on these is is one of my favorite parts about the set. None of these are particularly like maybe super valuable on the showcase, but I do like the art a lot. I think that's really wild. Got a Bane Blade Scoundrel and a Patrician Geist Extended Art Foil. All right, so uh, let's just recap the box here real quick, just for. For those at home here, here we go. So we've got our extended art moon veil. We've got a pack foil meat hook massacre. We've got a borderless Teferi foil. Okay, we've got a hostile hostile. Uh, we've got a pack foil uh, primal adversary. We've got the borderless primal adversary foil. And then we've got uh, tormentor as a commander foil. Uh, we have four uh, extended art lands. Uh, we've got another one. I think, where did I put them? They're somewhere around here, right? Got an unnatural growth pack foil. We've got deserted beach and shipwreck marsh. So we had seven lands in this box, and then uh, just as far as the rare hits are concerned, we had uh, we had Tovalar. Uh, we had unnatural growth pack foil. Those are two strong pack foils. We had a regular Tovalar uh, showcase, and uh, and then in the we had oh yeah, there's another land. I was like I know I had one one more, and then we had an unnatural growth both as foil extended arts. This box is this box is really good. Um, this almost makes up for that last box, um, and, uh, it restores my faith in the set and then the collector booster box of this set, which I was really questioning the value of. Uh, thanks for tuning in, everyone. I appreciate your time. I know that you guys could be, there's a ton of other really good content out there, and, and if you spent 12 or 13 minutes or even six minutes with me, I super appreciate it. Um, if you like the content, please remember to like, subscribe, and comment. It really does help me let me know that I'm on the right track. Thanks so much, everyone. Have a great day.